Crime Beat tonight at 5 o'clock. Police have now cracked the case of an Indiana crime that grabbed national headlines. A church was vandalized with words like Heil Trump, but it turns out it was an inside job. Now, if you got our push notifications earlier, you learned about who was admitted to the crime. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is in Bean Blossom with more on why the church organist says he did it. Rich? John, when this crime occurred, people here in Brown County feared it was a hate crime committed by perhaps the KKK or some other hate group. But a church organist, when they heard the news of the arrest, they were both shocked and relieved. People scared by the hateful and vile messages were shocked by the arrest of the church organist, George Stang. Oh my. The organist. The organist? Wow. Wow. It was November, shortly after the presidential elections. Stang told everyone he discovered the graffiti when he arrived for Sunday morning services. The small Episcopal church is inclusive and welcomes gay couples. Detectives immediately suspected the crime was committed by someone familiar with the church. Cell phone records put Stang in the area Saturday night. According to court records, when confronted with the evidence, the 26-year-old gay man confessed. Is there any rhyme, reason, or sanity in any of that action? I don't think. Uh, he explained that one of the reasons he had done it was fear. Uh, he was concerned about the results of the election. In a three-page handwritten statement, Stang, according to court records, wanted to mobilize a movement. I suppose I wanted to give local people a reason to fight for good, even if it was a false flag, he wrote. To be clear, my actions were not motivated by hate for the church or its congregation. The hate crime, though, hurt the community. Residents say it gave outsiders the wrong impression of Bean Blossom. They're relieved the mystery is apparently solved. I'll just know when the hate crimes will be stopped here in Brown County, and I'm, maybe things will be put to arrest. The Bean Blossom Episcopal Church has no comment on the arrest. I spoke with Stang on the phone today. He had no comment for me either. The last time we checked, he was still on the church's website as its organist. Stang bonded out of jail. He is charged with institutional criminal mischief. If found guilty here in a Brown County court, he'd be sentenced to up to a year in jail and fined $5,000. Andrea?